Welcome back everyone, I'm Shinigami Tabris, and as you can see, we've got a very large screen today because we're starting off with the wonderful unboxing. Uh, we've got this month's uh, Tokyo Treat to start with, and then after that, I have a, uh, this big, this is just box two that you see here, box one's underneath it. Uh, this is a, a Kickstarter that I got in here recently, and I still haven't unboxed it because I've been delaying for you guys um and having time to do it so we're gonna do both of them now and go from there uh afterwards we're gonna play some mario we might play some rocket league while we wait for corb it just depends on how things are going um but without further ado the unboxing starting with tokyo treat that's what everybody comes to see really 
Uh, this month's April 2021, Volume 65, is Secura Snack Surprises. Yay. So as always, I get the premium pack, uh, which has extra stuff in it. Uh, but I start off with trying to just show what's in the, uh classic pack and then in with the premium just so that everybody can see the wonderful like boxing look at this it's so yeah i've just lost something so cute um so let's start off with a thing at the very top that says mike popcorn uh mike popcorn classic salt nothing says party like popcorn mike's popcorn is japan's favorite popcorn and an essential party snack and this one will surely be a hit with its classic salty flavor mike's popcorn that does not like what part of what part of sakura does this fucking say at all other than the fact it's got a pink bag for fuck's sake uh free to lay though Maybe it'll be good. We'll find out. Uh, next, we've got the uh, Umai Sugar Rusks. Uh, these sweet and crunchy Japanese sugar snacks are an awesome energy booster. A corn snack that we promise you won't be able to stop crunching. Umai Sugar Rusks. Uh, knowing it's going to be like corn pops. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I've had these before. I think these come on like every other box, it seems like. Um do, 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 do. that's in the uh new mochi taro. Spring is all about the new beginnings, but we're looking into the past with this awesome retro snack. These crunchy crackers have a simple saltiness that is super addictive. New mochi taro. It's like the only thing that's in English, and it's, it's instead of being new mochi taro, it's mochi new taro. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's in English around the uh, character's face. Yeah. Next up, we have... Onion Taro Snacks. We're closing out our Hanami party with a savory corn snack you won't forget anytime soon. The super tasty onion flavor of these corn snacks will have your mouth watering. Onion Taro Snacks. Cheesy poofs and onion flavor. That's what I'm getting out of that. Ooh. Now, these actually sound decent to me. Uh, look decent, too. Although, it's probably going to be like your typical Easter candy where you're like, Jesus Christ. Um, Sakura Latte Marshmallows. We're getting major spring vibes from these marshmallows. They come in two flavors. Sakura, which are the pink ones, and Sakura Latte, which are the white ones. Enjoy them on their what? Uh, their own or as a topping for sweets or drinks. Sakura Latte Marshmallows. Marshmallows! Um, it could be like so typical like Easter like stuff for those here in America and whatnot that you get those crappy Easter marshmallows that taste horrible. Um,. We'll see. We'll see. Mashro! Soft, light, and fluffy, like Sakura. Mashro makes the perfect light Japanese marshmallow snack for any sweet tooth. Oh, come on, focus. It's such a bright packaging and so white, it doesn't want to focus on it. I love it. Hello? Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Just had to block out everything else. Mm. 
Ramen Shop Taro Snacks. After a party, nothing is better than some tasty, savory ramen snacks. Try enjoying them in hot water or munch on them as they are. Ramen Shop Taro Snacks. Um, these aren't bad. It's just, uh, dried ramen noodles, um, that have already been flavored and whatnot. Those come, like, on a regular basis, too. Oh, <laughs> come on, focus. Tempura fried lemon squid snack. We're adding some sour and savory lemon squid snacks to shake up this sweet Sakura surprise. Enjoy it for a burst of refreshing sourness. Tempura fried lemon squid snacks. I'm I'm highly curious because that's got to be it's going to be interesting on that one. Mini Monster Gummy, the Winter Blues still got you down. Get a sour spring shock with this fruity soft monster gummy that will help you get into the spring mood. Mini Monster Gummies. Each one is these. Nope. Banana Man! Banana Man is here to join your Sakura party. Inside this fluffy Japanese banana marshmallow, you'll find plenty of chocolate sauce that will have you craving for more. Banana Man! Banana Man! When I first started reading that, the banana marshmallow, like, I was, that instantly screamed horrible, uh, horrible Easter candy here in America. Umaibo cheese. We couldn't leave our cheese fans hanging at Sakura season, and this classic crunchy corn snack is the perfect way for cheese lovers to satisfy. Umaibo cheese. Every Umaibo has Drymon on it, and they all look alike, and, like, there's very little difference between packaging. I, it, I've got a couple of them, and they've all got mixed together, and I don't know which flavor is what anymore, and I'm trying my best not to mix them anymore, but that is such a uh, hard thing to do, and then when you bite into one, and you're like, which one is this? Oh, that's not the one I thought it was. Yay! Uh, next up, we've got Fruit Donuts Gummy. Can't get enough of the fresh and fruity spring flavors? Then you have to try this super cute Japanese gummy. If the donut shape doesn't convince... And then it trails off. There's no, like, there's got to be more. There was supposed to be more road, I'm sure. It's a donut-shaped fruit gummy. Okay. Uh, are we down to... Yeah, that was the last one out of the classic box. So now we're down to the premium box. The premium box always has the fun stuff in it. Not always, but most of the time. Uh, some Kaku vegetable crackers. Ready for some salty veggie flavoring cra crackers? These cute triangle crackers are super crunchy and addictive. You won't want to share them at the Hanami party. Sunkaku vegetable crackers. These have popped up. These next ones have popped up a couple of times throughout uh, the boxes. I actually like them a lot. They are curry turtle crackers. Light, crunchy, and spicy. These are the perfect crackers to spice up your cherry blossom viewing party for Japanese curry fans. Curry turtle crackers. Next up are the things that everybody waits for. Uh, first off, Pringles. Japanese fried chicken flavor. Japanese fried chicken is a must-eat at Hanami parties, and we're bringing it to you in limited edition Pringles form. 
made with plenty of onion and garlic flavoring. Yummy. Pringles. Japanese fried chicken flavor. That does not sound appeasing at all. Eating a Pringle that tastes like fried chicken? I don't know. It might be good. We'll, we'll try one in a minute on stream. Sakura Ramune. Come on, focus. Uh, Japanese festival favorite Ramune is here. This famous Japanese lemonade has a cute pink color and elegant Sakura flavor. You have to try. Need help opening? Check out page 6. Uh, for those that don't know how to open these, they've got a glass cork on the top. You have to take the plastic that's here, and it comes with a little like thing to poke the glass cork into it. Uh, which is captured into this section, and then you just drink. Uh, so it is, once you open it, you can't seal it. Um, and last but not least, what everybody was looking for, Kit Kat Sakura. Spring limited edition Sakura Kit Kats. The only thing better than elegant Kit Kat Sakura chocolate is that Nestle Japan donates 10 yen for every bag to Sakura Line 311, an NPO that plants Sakura trees in areas affected by the Tohoku earthquake. So that's actually, that's interesting. Um, I like, I love it when they, they do the, uh, they let you know what the bag's for, the fact that this is uh, for a um, promotion to, like, help things. And that's where... Right here, it talks about the for every bag, 10 yen is sent. So, if you think about that, I don't know how many thousands of people get these, like, Tokyo treat bags, but that's a that's a really good uh, thing. Um, as always, we always open and eat a Kit Kat on stream. I'm also going to eat a Pringle because I'm curious. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Uh, for anybody that's out there watching, if there was anything that caught your attention, let me know. I'm gonna, tr I'll try some of these. Like always, I'll try anything on stream. Uh, when it comes to these uh, snacks, and we'll go from there. But starting off with the uh, Sakura Kit Kat. It's not bad. Um, I can't remember like how to describe Sakura flavor because it's cherry petals. It's very muted, but you can definitely taste it in it. palate cleanse. Okay, here comes the, um, what I am not looking forward to, really. I know I'm just torturing myself. I also, every other Pringles they've sent has been like a half can. Why the hell did they send full cans from this? Other than they probably, Pringles was like, we need to get the fuck out rid of this. Take it. Take it from us. I don't, I don't not like it. I mean, it's not like so bad that I've got to like spit it out or not one another, but it's definitely an odd flavor. And onion, garlic, and fried chicken. Um, 
Pringles, you were aiming for something and I guess you hit it. It's not bad, but it's definitely weird. Definitely weird. Would definitely not be the um, box I would go for right off the bat if I was looking at odd Pringles to try. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Now, it does give an odd aftertaste. And I think that's the weird fried chicken flavoring. And how do you, how do you, what are the spices used to make fried chicken flavoring? That's what I want to know. What are you using to make that flavor? Because that's a flavor. Ah. Uh. I don't know what else I want to try. I want to try anything on here. Because most of the others are pretty typical. Oh. I want to try this, but I also want my sister to try it as well. Normally, we, like, we'll split some stuff. And since there's only one, I don't know if I want to try it now on stream or not. The Banana Man. Because, like, that just... That's what I need to do. I need to get my sister over here, and we need to, like cut the cameras on and film us like eating like me letting her try different candies and whatnot so that maybe get more than just my sister but definitely get my sister over here to do it because i know my sister will eat 90 percent of what i hand her from these Ah, uh, yeah I love, like, so I've had Ramune for, like, a long time frame, but I love they have a full how to open guide, talking about the marble that's inside, like I said, and showing you exactly what to do to open it uh, and a drink. Interesting. Uh, so this is definitely a different uh, different type than uh, the last Sakura Festival. Um, have I been getting these now for a year? No. How did I get another, a, a different Sakura thing then? Or has it been a year? I don't remember anymore. They have a thing that, like, lets you track how long you've been doing stuff, uh, like, getting these. But they had a mistake at one point where I had ordered a second box by accident somehow because I didn't think I was getting my other, uh, the, the box that I was supposed to be getting and I wanted to make sure I got it. And when they did that, they did this weird thing where it lost my tracking, even though I had two of those boxes to keep track of how many in an order in a row that I get. And after they did that, I was like, eh, I don't care anymore. Um, I probably should start like doing the scans again and doing the codes to keep up with that. But, uh, let me know on the discord. If you're on the discord, uh, which, uh, snacks you'd like me to talk about. Um, I don't mind coming back and filming more about these. Like I said, I've, gonna try to get some friends together i still have some candies uh, some snacks from other boxes i'll try to get some friends together and film uh people eating them uh me doing like a blind uh tasting uh where hand them the candy 
they can't read... 99% of my friends can't read the packaging, so just hand them a candy, show them the package, let them try it, and then tell them what it is afterwards. Um, get their reaction and their, like... Talk about it. Because crosstalk's always fun. Uh, moving on, 